Hola, gringos y gringos, and welcome to Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. I'm Mark. I'm Gina. This week, we're going to show you our Airbnb in Merida. Hang on, it really is a spectacular place. Coming up right after this. And welcome back. As Mark said, this is our Airbnb tour in Merida. When we started looking for a place to call home in Merida for our Airbnb, one of the things we definitely decided that we wanted to do was be as close to Centro as possible. It also checked all the other boxes, which mm -hmm. were, you know, having a place for the car, having a king bed, and having adequate Wi-Fi. And it really sort of narrowed down pretty quickly. <laughs> and we only had a few options. <laughs> and, and it all kept coming back to this one, because this really is probably the first place that we've had that we can really say is truly colonial. So let's take you on that tour. We've talked enough. Uh, enjoy. Pero says, welcome to Merida. Guys, look, look. It was suicidal dive bombing. By some of these, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, we have dead butterflies. Aww. And of course, the, the color and remains evidence of butterflies that dive bombed the car. All over. Oh man. All over. Okay. Beautiful windows. And actually, a, a pretty large hot water tank. Alright. And then we enter.
It's a classic colonial home. So we got large table here, another room. What's in here? Anything? Some electrical stuff. Okay. Okay. I mean, these doors are huge. I mean, that break right there, that is where a normal door normally would be. And then you got all of that. Another room, right? Okay. Okay, so we got. This is really quite lovely. I love that mirror. Look at that mirror. <gasps> wow. Look at this. I mean, I mean, look at this mirror. If I can get it without sun flare. Look at the detail. Beautiful. And the carvings down the side. Air, right up there. Good. I haven't seen. Oh, there's the controller for the air. Okay. Yep. Now, what's out here? Bathroom. This is a bathroom. Okay. We'll just leave that like that. Oh, there's one of those pretty windows. Lovely. Okay. Little closet space, a dresser, ironing board, a clothes thing to hang your clothes on to dry. Let's see, so we have a washing machine, but only a washing machine. So the intention is to wash and then hang dry your clothes, which some things we will probably do that with, and other things we will probably take to a lavanderia. And the shower is also right here. Okay. And third bedroom. Third bedroom is ours. <laughs> so one of the things I really like is if it smells nice in here. Well, I will say this. I don't notice any cleaning solution smell, but it does not smell bad. So that's good. Oh, wow. There we go. That's a king.
Uh, I guess I am. Is there air in this room? <laughs> there is a fan. There is a fan right there. Uh, air is only in the bedrooms. Okay. I mean, I will deal with it. We got two fans here. We got a fan over the table and a fan in the kitchen. I love that they gave us a, a brand, practically a brand new getaphone. I think it uh, is. I don't, I don't, I think it was full. I think that the dispenser. Okay, the other half is in the bottom. Yeah, yeah, right here. I like these types of dispensers, but we don't dare invest in one while we're traveling. Ain't no room. No. And, and honestly, by the time we settle down, we'll probably get one of those electric ones that will give you hot water and cold water. But um, yeah, I do like these. I prefer these over a pump any day of the week. Okay. And there is our Airbnb, guys. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, what? Wait, hold on. And what do we got here, honey? What's going on? Hot water. Hot water for a hot shower. Dang, I cannot wait. Whew. That's a good thing. Drying pads. Oh, very good. Wow. We're going to be here for three months. I think I can deal with this. I love this kitchen, despite the fact that there's no cabinetry, but there's so much good storage here being utilized, and there's good cookware and lots of things to help us seasoning and plates, and there's crock pots. Did you notice that? Yeah. Two of them. So we're set up really well here. This is excellent. Common area bathroom with a bidet. Guess I get to play. And another shower, right? There's a nice shelf right here too, which I really appreciate. I'm not doing it right, duh. Wow. And there's that door. That is just... We are in Centro, yo. Look at that. This is so cool. Big old colonial house. Loving it. I gotta look up the history on this place. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hello. 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 Oh my. I know. Are we gonna be friends now? Are we gonna be friends? Huh? 
Listen, little El Gato, I will give you tuna juice. Tuna juice. Don't go over there. He ain't your friend. He don't care about you. Me. I know. It's me. Over here. There you go. It's me. That's right. Oh, yeah. You like that. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, they're still alive, but they're not like they were. And today, they do not wiggle. They are dead. See all the dead ones? They're just laying there. Ha, this is even better. Look at all these dead ones. They're just laying there, dead. Can you see them? Get out of the way. There you go. Right there, all dead. But then I just found this one down here, and there's some that are alive down in here. So now I gotta put more soap in there. I have a little friend. Hello. Well, hey there. You're a noisy one. Come on. Come here. I know. I have something for you. Looky here. I got you some cheese. Do you like cheese? No? You don't like cheese? Come on, come get the cheese. Now that's some A quality mozzarella there, little kitty. You wait, I wanna get you some tuna juice. Waiting for bigger and better things. Oh, now we see. Now we see how I rank. He brings you pork. You are spoiled now, aren't you? It's like, I don't want cheese. Give me the meats. I'm a carnivore. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, you like it. We have a new pet. He's not really our pet, but Mark is going to spoil him with a package of whiskers. There he is. He left us a little gift. We had a lizard. Yes. What you think of that? We got the city bus comes by. We also get a Collectivo, several Collectivos go by on a regular basis. We have a six right across the street, and it's a small one, but most of these six stores really only sell like cigarettes, alcohol, snacks, pop, that's about it. But yeah, we're on a corner in Centro. We're just inside the boundaries of Centro. And we can walk. It's just about anything. It's really cool. A couple times a day we get, uh, I can hear horses. And I want to say it's probably a horse drawn buggy coming through. As a lot of older towns love to do that. Hmm. Okay. Welcome back. 
So what'd you think of that? Lots of character. And they're continuing to do it. Since we've been here, mm -hmm. they've already painted the wall around the pool. Mm -hmm. And right before we got here, they put the outdoor bathroom and put the finishing touches on that. And they're going to put in a window in the bathroom that's on the plans to be done. We don't know when. Uh, they, they had a couple of electricians here. If you can imagine 15 to 20 foot ceilings, doors that are 12 to 15 feet tall. Yep. Um, 16 foot, inch to two foot thick. Walls. Walls. You know, um, yeah. it, it's, it's an interesting story in that, you know, it has had numerous renovations. Um, the part that we're sitting in now actually used to be, I think, the Hardeen yeah. because the outside wall was over here and the interior to the house was actually over here to our right. And so they added that bedroom, they added this sala, and then they added another sala behind us. And then as soon as we leave, this wall is going to go away and they're just going to make it one big one large solid. room. Oh, wow. That'll be yeah. cool. And, and, uh, and so when you see this uh, video, the, the spiral staircase of death, that'll be gone. You know. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, it, it has a really cool history where it at least goes back at minimum 150 years. And from what we have learned from the people who purchased it and what they were told is that one family owned it. For 150 years, it was held by one family mm -hmm. and until they purchased it. And at some point, um, this part or some of it, all of it, was a dance club? Yes. They turned into a dance club, which is probably where that second floor came from, right? I, I'm not sure why they put that in there. I think that came in after additions were done later, mm -hmm. you know, um, because they totally reworked the kitchen, mm -hmm. um, they reworked the bathroom. Uh, there's not a whole lot in this house really that has not been redone. Yeah. And, and, and we are paying electricity in this place. That was part of the deal. That was mm -hmm. part of the listing. And by the way, for safety reasons, for safety reasons, because we are still here for a while, I'm not going to give you the listing yet, but I will. Just not right now. Not until after we're gone. Yeah. yeah I mean. Well, I mean, you know, we don't want people showing up while we're out in the pool. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just saying. We might scare you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, when we came and we walked in here, I, I almost felt like there was a presence here. No, I'm not talking about ghosts, but you could feel the history. You could feel the history in this place. Well, it, it took us long enough to get in. Oh, okay. We struggled a little bit with the keys and whatnot. Yeah, and getting, I, but, but, I mean, once we're inside, it's breathtaking. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people who aren't used to old structures like this might go, oh, well, it needs a lot of work. You know, not in my opinion. The only thing character, the only thing I would change about this house, hmm. it would have a stove uh, oven. Oh, have an oven. Yeah. That's, well, that's what, just the path that I was going down is that we were told as part of, of the deal for the rental was that you do have to cover the electricity. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason that is, is a lot of people come here to stay in Merida and Merida is known for being very, very hot. So people run the air conditioners a lot and they don't realize how much it's going to cost them. So that's part of our agreement is we pay the electricity. Right, and it, and it has three bedrooms. It only has three uh, mini splits and that's one in each mm -hmm. one of the bedrooms mm -hmm. and we haven't other than when Arlene and Annie Bett were here we haven't turned another no. mini split on other than the one that's in our bedroom and then that one's right across from where Gina works so we just open up the door turn the fan on blow the right Blair. across and yeah I mean that that one air conditioner in our bedroom actually cools the rest of the house pretty much and it keeps it cool it does. 
I don't know what the electricity is going to cost yet. You know, the CFE bill comes out every two months. It, it was just paid right before we arrived. We're expecting to see the bill probably days. in the next 10 to 15 days. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can give you an update when we do our wrap up what that ended up costing us. But yep. we do keep that air conditioner in our bedroom on just about 24 seven. Unless we're not here. If we're not here, we turn it off. But otherwise it's on all night and it's on all day because it's circulating cool air out to the rest of the house. Yeah. They're doing, they're well, cause, cause I think when they pull this wall out, I think there's actually talk that they may put a mini split here in this big room. Oh, okay. Because this room gets hot. This room back here behind us does get hot, but it's getting hot because- It has a very low ceiling. They put that floor up there. Yep. And these houses are really tall because heat rises and it keeps the livable area cooler. Well, the heat can't rise in that room. And it's on the corner, two windows, and, and or should I say doors practically. These doors, sometimes you can hear the traffic. There's nothing insulated about these doors. Oh no. You and can see right through the cracks all the way around them. And the transoms open up above, yeah. so I mean, um, when it rains, you've seen, if you've seen some of our short clips of when it rains, that last big rainfall that we got, water actually came in and yeah. it had to rise up over a step and back down again for it to come in like it did. So yeah, we were moving boxes quickly going, yeah. uh oh, you know, and, and that was mostly due to the bus and truck waves. Yeah. Waves caused by the vehicles. Larger yeah. vehicles. Because I was sitting outside and that's where I spend my time is outside. And you actually could see as a bus would come down um Kaye, you know <laughs> it's tsunami. Say, Here it comes up <laughs> yeah. past, you know, all the way on the slab where the car's at, then over the edge. And then, you know, and we have we got a lot of trash that got washed into the house in the yard not yeah. the house yeah but no character 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 and more character is this house this is one of those houses it's in an area of centro where there are numerous pieces of property here that are for sale oh yeah some of them are in better shape than others oh yeah but this is an area of centro where it is already stated as i've read online that expats and immigrants are coming into this area, buying up these properties and fixing them up. And boy, I'll tell you, if we had the money and the time, a place like this would be really cool. Oh yeah. Really cool, for sure. Yeah, and, and I like what they did with creating the uh, parking situation. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing I would have done, if it had been me that was doing it, I would have done it more of a barn door style of sliding it. Oh, that would have been a little easier. That would have yeah. been so much easier getting yeah. in and out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're on a busy corner. Oh yeah. So getting in and out, um, I literally have to go stand in the street when there's no traffic coming so that he knows he can back and then, up. And then it gets tight. And so we have to actually fold in the mirrors because it's really not designed for an SUV. And so, you know, and I'm sorry, backup cameras do nothing for me. I grew up driving, trusting my eyes. I did too, but backup cameras are my friend. I hate them. I have to be able to see. And that, and I, you know, she goes, well, you can trust the camera. No, I trust my eyes. That's just, I learned to drive that way and that's the way I drive. So it's like, uh, but so far we have not had any issues as far as getting in and out, but it takes two people. It does. Two yep. people, one directing traffic and holding the door. Holding and the, the doors, because if, if, if there's any wind, next thing you know, the door slams shut and then sort of slams up against the car. So that's, that's the now, one thing I probably would have done. I've been trying really hard to get us caught up so that we're actually in a location where we are recording from. Now we are there. We still have over a month left in Merida. So, Five weeks, six weeks. Yeah, six so weeks. now you're gonna start getting more and more videos of things that we actually just recently have done. And- uh, Well, we recently did the others. We just had to move since they- It's true. Yeah. I mean, and that's with us being down for two weeks, not feeling well, so. 
that is our Airbnb in Merida. It is stunning. And I can't wait, when we finally go, I can't wait to show you where it is and what it costs. Yeah, and, and if you are planning on coming to Merida after we leave, you would be hard pressed to find a house better than this one as far as location and character and 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 the management company yeah they're great they're very good yep. yeah um english is like the third language but not a problem i mean because we have a uh Wim is from the Netherlands and he's married to a Mexican national mm -hmm. and she speaks a little English. Wim's is a little bit better, you know, but they have been phenomenal anytime that we have, you know, well, we really haven't needed anything. I mean, you need a, a toaster oven and when oh, they and came they brought us a toaster and oven. they went, oh yeah, we got one in the house we're not using. And they sent the guy over with it the next day. Boom. Got it. You know, so. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. We're going to thank you for watching once again. We are Gringos R Us. Expats with a plan. Remember, we're, we're doing, doing it. it. You, you can, can too. too. Oh, that's right. There's videos up there. <laughs> you might want to watch one of those. Hasta la próxima. Adios.